week back uh, we had uh, prime minister modi giving out awards to the content creators for uh, across india right i think around 22 23 categories were there and uh, uh where this came from devika is, is that uh, you know shraddha jain ayu shraddha uh, one of the humorous uh, uh, women content creator most creative uh, uh, creator female she is she's won that award and, and i wrote a small post on linkedin for her and she commented and uh, while i was going through the speech of uh, prime minister modi there was a special mention uh, and he was requesting the content creators to to write more content and highlight the negative effects of drugs on the youth which uh, just means that this problem is not just you know specific to cities or villages it's, it's actually spread across india it's gone to the attention of the prime minister himself so uh, thanks a lot for the detailed explanation you gave for the first question because this really uh, is uh, eye opening for a lot of parents uh, devika uh, moving on moving on to the uh, another question on the impact of drugs on youth uh what are the common places where uh, the school going or the college going you would procure these drugs easily right so again uh, whenever we interview you know the children uh, who are you know caught with this problem or identified and are brought here so uh, especially me i just don't uh, confine to my job of taking case history and you know giving them oh what is that you can do and not Right. but also to understand like as you said just now you know the pm modi has uh, you know changed the way we need to deal with this problem into 2021 i remember there is a three pronged approach we talk about like you know the supply reduction part is what uh, the uh, law enforcement agencies are taking care of like ncb enforcement director you know customs excise and all that but uh, there is something called uh, demand reduction approach uh so if you see in my profile again we were trained by unodc about you know how to do this demand reduction this yeah. is where lot of population like you know they, the supply is there where there is a demand so it is again economics here so what we are uh, trying to do here is a uh, lot of sensitization awareness campaigns it's it's like you know everyone who is associated with a child or a community you uh, know because we all are interlinked with uh, intertwined interconnected so we all are a stakeholders to make our community better especially in this context of making it drug free because if the drug is there there is it doesn't stop with a person sub using substance uh, and then you know lying in a hospital or getting treatment but it is creating a havoc in our society La, the crime rate is high and uh, there is uh, if you see 50% of our population is young and if this percent of population it means you are losing a generation of productivity growth and uh, you can see the states like for example i think most of the people have taken punjab as a case study here uh, if if one state has gone to this drug one generation what is going to happen uh, where is the growth and you know uh, it's going to be a big menace if you see the families the way they suffer and i would tell there is a child of 11th grade uh, you know at the distress call the parent has to me because the father was not available this boy uh, was using substance mother tried to stop he hit her he hit the child uh, sister and then uh, he was under intoxicated state and uh, it they mimic the psychotic features they felt he became maniac aggressive because he was under intoxicated state with this you know party drugs so they just locked themselves in the room and then they were making a distress call and uh, in the middle of the night the cops had to come take him to the juvenile there's so much of trauma and the whole uh, you know it is a gated community you know everybody was like oh who's ke who's come you know the cops have come and it's a lot of humiliation they had to go yes. it's a traumatic experience for the whole family i would say yes. so it's, we need to understand here this just doesn't stop with person using substance or it is not confined to that particular person yes. but it affects the whole coming this is i'm talking about a rich kid Yeah. I also talk about an incident where this boy, it's a he's a straight child, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, he was like inhaler uh, addict. So suddenly he got into that craving of the substance. In the morning he got up and he was, you know, uh, begging for ten, fifteen rupees to, you know, the morning walkers. 
Right. When, uh, the old man refused to give. He had a blade. He slit the throat of uh, the old man. You know, because they was just like you know, hey, hey, just get you know, get away from me, kind of thing. So right. he could take that humiliation. Then he 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 didn't knew how what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He slit the throat, checked his pockets to for the money. He failed to understand. For morning walk, nobody brings the money, and he found an ATM card, but he doesn't know the pin and all. So. He was ultimately caught and put in a juvenile home. If you just enter a juvenile home, you see a lot of children and 90% of uh, uh, the cases were some or the other way under intoxicated state, you know. Yeah. And that's the kind of a plight of those children where they don't get accessibility to the treatment also. So you see the problem doesn't lie with an individual, but it is uh, you know going to spreading the society in such a way in a community like everybody has to suffer so here when we are talking about approach everyone has uh, to be a stakeholder in order to address this issue and see that if i am healthy my family is healthy my community is healthy that is where the growth is so it is directly proportional is what we need to understand here